Hi, so how do you change your op-amps on your new AIMA A007 Pro? How do you open this damn thing? Uh, the first thing you need to do is to unscrew these two small screws. Then you need to remove the lower one, lower screws uh, from the sides. You don't actually need to remove the higher ones, but I did undo the higher ones. Then you need to undo three locking rings from behind the potentiometers, but uh, the first thing you need to do is just pull out the, uh, the, 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 the whatever you call it, forgot the name. And then finally, you can open your new amplifier and get access to your op-amps to change them. So what can we see here? Uh, you can see nice Nijicon, Nijicon capacitor on the power supply. Uh, we can see some nice inductors here and big radiator on TPA 3255 and what do we have here we have five op amps in total as if I can see clearly yes and all of them are NE5532P so you can always get better than what's inside uh, okay i won't be replacing them at the moment uh, why because i like the sound out of the box i really dig the sound i'm surprised because this is this is your cheapest basic operational amplifier and still AIMA sounds great with them, uh, but in time I can see op-amp change coming in the future. Uh, okay, what's also, what may be interesting here. Uh, here we have uh, your typical Bluetooth module. This one is produced by Qualcomm, Qualcomm QC something, let's have it the right way. I'm not sure if it yes, it focuses just right, just a bit better. Qualcomm QCC 304 something. And you can see that the part of the marking from the chip has been sanded down. That, that's interesting. This rectangle here, it looks like it's missing some of the markings. Okay, some more capacitors, I don't know that particular brand, although I think the green ones are Nichicon Gold series, yes, and the small gold ones here are also Nichicons, so good quality capacitors uh, all in all, uh, yes, anyway, what I will be changing here are the op amps to check out the sound signature uh, with my usual suspects that I like, that I love. Uh, and that's all. One more pass for the camera. Because maybe someday you or I will need to have some details on the built inside. And we won't have the timer wheel to unscrew this again. Yes, uh, I'll be doing uh, a review uh, on that one uh, with comparison to Fossi Audio BT28 Pro, which is basically almost the same because it's also TPA3255, also with tone controls and also with uh, interchangeable op-amps. So stay tuned. And I need to put this together.